In this little video demonstration, I've had a few people asking me about how to really identify all of these parts of the dog. So this demonstration is just going to take you through all of the parts. I'm going to start at the point of the nose and work around the dog and back up to the beginning. The muzzle goes from the tip of the nose to that little point there where the forehead begins to rise in between the dog's eyes. Now there's a different spot in between the dog's eyes depending on where the dog's eyes are set but as soon as you get that little bit of a scoop up you're at the end of the muzzle and you're in the stop region. The stop region therefore goes from that point to that very front part of the forehead and if you were to look at this image and run your hand over your dog you'll actually find those points a lot better because you'll find that spot just up around the eyebrow region where it becomes the dog's skull. Now the skull runs from that point at the back of the head and again if you run your hand across your dog's head you'll actually feel that point and it runs from that point at the back of the head to that top of the stop area. The neck, and I haven't actually labelled the neck, maybe I should do that, I felt it was a bit obvious, but the neck runs from that point of the skull down the back of the neck until you find that point where the shoulders are. That's what we call the withers. The withers isn't actually a region along here like some of these other areas are a region. The withers is simply that point of the shoulders. The back runs from the withers down to that point where you're first able to feel the hips starting. And when you feel that hip starting, you're in the region that's called the loin. The loin really is just the hips in other words. And the loin region ends when you feel that um, end of the hip and down to the point where the tail inserts is then called the croup. The upper thigh is the femur bone. So all that upper thigh region there goes from there down to the stifle and the stifle is what in a human we would call the knee. The lower thigh in that case is a bit different to us as a human. The lower thigh runs from the knee down to the hock and the hock really is the ankle joint. But in the dog that's called the lower thigh because the dog's foot really runs from the hock right down to the toes. The dog's foot is not just this small pastern area. The dog's foot runs all of the way down here. And that means that we have the heel of the foot here at the tip of the hock there. Running down in this area is what we would call the sole of our foot and that is the dog's pastern. Going to the front leg, the pastern on the front leg is really what we would call the palm of our hand. And therefore, that takes the pastern goes to what we would call the wrist joint, into the forearm, going up to the dog's elbow being at this point. The upper arm or humerus runs to the point of the shoulder. And the flues is simply this area underneath the neck. I hope that helps you to identify all of these parts of your dog when you're looking at your dog and attempting to measure those angles.